everyone, it's Rini here and today we're going to make these cute little specimen trays from one of the digis in our shop. Um, this digi is the Bugs Collection um, and it has an assortment of different bugs in two different sizes. So this is the larger size um, which has a larger frame which makes this uh, specimen tray and then some uh, plain backs to uh, make your own which we'll get into after and then it's just got the frames in case you wanted to do some flat uh, framed objects like layered embellishments or framed journal elements things like that um, and then it's got this smaller size as well and those have got their own little frames and their own little blanks um, and their own little frames and then we've also got these uh, other bugs in uh, a brown tone and a light tone and they've got their own frames as well and backs and frames they're slightly different sizes Then we've got these collection labels to fit on the frames like this one and then we've just got some sort of like entomology uh, identification check stamps as well there's also a couple of black and white pages in this set but I haven't printed those because I won't be using those today um, so let's begin. So to make this one, we need to pick uh, we need the large frame with all the bits and then we need to pick one of the uh, large pictures. So I think I think I'll do this bugs one here today. So I'm just going to start by cutting that out. Cat fur on everything. Alright, now I also need to cut out all of the... Uh, frame elements actually. so I'll probably put this bit on fast forward Now I've finished cutting all the pieces out, it's time to do some scoring. I'm just going to use this uh, fine scoring tool and I'm not going to put anything under it. And I'll use this tool to just fold it against the ruler as I go. Like that. So each side gets scored twice, once on this edge flap and then once on this slightly internal part which is harder to see but it's along the edge of all the the cuts or flaps lines Okay, and we're going to do each side of these little parts as well. Alright, so now I've got all of these scored, I want to fold it so that the little flap is folding backwards like that and then the big one is folding forwards so it's sort of like a little Z shape like that. I'm going to do that on each of these 
four pieces like that. Like that. And then we need the picture, some glue, and I'll start with the longer pieces. So I'm going to put some glue on the flap that's uh, on the, the coloured, facing the coloured side. And I'm just going to line it up so that my picture is in the groove, uh, taking the whole side aligned with the, with the side, like that. And we'll do the same on the other side. Glue. Picture. Oops. Aligned. Okay, I'm just going to fold these little flaps out of the way. And do the same with the shorter sides. And oops. Like that. All right. Now I'm going to glue the little flap pieces and fold them around to grab on the piece next next to it. Same on the other end. Like that. Like that. Alright. Next, take the frame and we want to fold everything the same way. So over the back and again over the back and again last one okay and so this time we want the flaps on the inside so I'm going to fold those in I'm going to pop a little bit of glue there and I'm going to connect it to the next bit inside like that. Pinch it for a second to let it stick. Next. And I'm going to fold these two sides down, put a bit of glue on each end here, fold this up, sometimes I can just use like a little pliers or tweezers or something just to give it a bit of a press so the glue sticks better. Or even turn it upside down and press it down a little bit to the desk just to help it stick but I might just need to give it a pinch 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 okay so that's the frame now I'm going to just give it a little inking on the inner edge here where we cut it just to hide any of the little white. Like 
Now I've printed this on 200 GSM paper. Um, I probably wouldn't uh, go any smaller than that, but you could possibly go higher if you wanted to. Depends how firm you want it. I mean, this this feels firm enough for my purposes. I just end up probably sticking this one on the wall. All right, I'm just going to make sure that that's good. So that's where I want it. Now I'm going to put some glue along these little flaps. Place it over the top, press it down, and then I'm going to turn it over, not sitting it in that little bit of glue there. And I'm just going to use a uh, tool to just press that flap down so it sticks better. All right. Ink of a white edge. Bit of glue. And there's my little bug collection. Now, this is... Um, fine like this for what I'd like to use it for but if you wanted to stick it to a piece of white card and then just trim it to the the size you want it and uh, that'll seal all that in so it'll look solid so I think I've done that and that I've still got some blue tack on that because I've had this stuck, stuck on the wall um, but yeah I think they look really cute I'll show you a couple of other ones I've made um, using a few other different bits and pieces so oh. this one I've just made um, with some leaves and a flower and then I did these three sort of as, as a bit of a collection um, with butterflies and just uh, you know specimen labels and numbers and I think they just look really cute together when they're stuck on the wall like that. Um, I've also got some um, ones I've made that are flat using the flat frames. So I'll show you those. Also using a few different digital sets. So just a plain butterfly and a plant, little vintage photo. And then some of the bigger ones, that's sort of a specimen set. And that's um, another butterfly's laid out. So next, let's make one of these little ones with uh, some other elements in like this, like a little specimen tray. So I'm going to use um, some other digis in this. So this page of Fussy Cut Butterflies is from the slide set. And I'm going to use that. And I need one of the little frames. Let's go back into this set bugs so I'll have a plain back and a frame I'll have a butterfly and then I'm also going to use some of these other elements from other digis but let's get this stuff cut out first what I'll do is I'll cut out all the frame and the back and I'll be back here in a minute Alright, I've cut out the elements and I have folded, scored and folded and assembled the frame. Uh, I'm going to uh, build the frame before I assemble it together. Or I'm going to build the, the background. So I've cut out this butterfly and um, because his antenna is very thin, it's got a white edge around it. So I'm just going to use a uh, black texture to um, colour in the, the white on his antenna 
end on his tail. I'm actually going to colour in the back of his antenna too because it's probably not going to get glued down and if it twists I don't want it to be white. Maybe his tail as well, just in case. There we go. He's got little white bits there too. Touch, touch. There we go. Alright, so I want to give him a little bit of shape. So I'm going to use a soft mat. This one here, the old mouse mat. And a large ball tool. And I'm just going to give his wings a little bit of shape. Maybe do it on the top here. Maybe on the back of the bottom. Like that. Gonna bend him in the middle. Give his wings a bit of a curve. Yeah, I like that shape. Alright, so I'm going to glue him. Well, I'm probably going to glue him in the middle. Like that. But let's figure out what else we want around him because it might change exactly where I glue him. So I've got a few other sheets um, from different sets that I thought might work for this, but I think these are too big. I'll cut one out just to be sure. So let's cut out this one down the bottom here. I'll pop links in the description box of all these different digitals in case you're interested in any of them. This one is from the Assorted Tickets and Labels set. I've got quite a few different assorted bits in that set. I mean, it, it would fit, but I think once the frame's over it, it would be... Oh, it might work. We'll keep that one aside just in case. Now this one's also from the Assorted Tickets set and I like using these little dates and sometimes the numbers or the little words and sometimes just these little number bits as well. So I might uh, I might cut out the dates. It's kind of the same colour as the background, so we kind of lose it a little bit. Let's try this lighter one. Right, that's a bit better. So I like that. Uh, this is another assorted tickets and labels sheet. Maybe this number here. Maybe like that. And then this one's another from the assorted tickets and labels. So it's got a huge variety. I like going to it. This is just like names and numbers. But I think in this case, I have this sheet from the specimen tray set, set, specimen tray set, and I like these little unreadable labels down the bottom here. So maybe we'll try one of those. Uh, let's just cut some out and have a look. Right, I'm just going to sit this over the top and see if I like that look. Maybe I want to match the colours a bit better. I don't want a dark one, let's get a light one. There 
maybe like that and then maybe I can just put a little stamping on the side here all right I like how that's looking let's start gluing stuff down so I'm just going to put some glue on the body and the tail I think I'll put way too much on there put a little off on my finger or it'll just spread butterfly there press him down like that good good all right little ink on the edges of those labels glue on this one pop him there then this one I might pop, so will that fit? Yep, yeah, that'll fit there nicely. I might pop it, I might do it in the brown actually. The little reference stamp from our documented stamp set. There. Like that. Alright, so now I've got that where I want it, I'm going to uh, glue the edges on. Just like we did for the big one. side butterfly's got a little bit deflated but we can puff him back up a bit out of the way please press press Now I did think the other day wouldn't these be cute if they had like a little plastic cover you know like a glass like it's a, a closed tray and I haven't tried it yet so maybe we should have a quick look at that before I glue the top on 
So I've got uh, this piece of um, plastic. It was just a laminating pouch that I ran through with nothing in it. But, you know, you could use packaging from anything, really. Basically just glue a little square on there before you put the frame on, which might be cute. Though I can't tell if this is dusty or if it's just not clear as I want it. Let's give it a try, shall we? Alright, so we really want it to be about there-ish and there-ish. that one more quick wipe to make sure I got all the marks off it before I glue it on because once it's on it's on forever. Now I don't know if I want to put something under his wings just to give it that permanent up because once it's sealed it can't get in there. A little piece of fo foam tape or something maybe. Let's see what I've got in my drawer here. So I've got this foam tape. I might just put a double piece on the very inside under the wing so you can't see it but it will prop it up so cut that in half sticky Lift his wing up, put that right in under his body there. A bit like that. It's probably a bit tall. Oh well, done it now. Let's do it on the other side. Sorry, Mr. Butterfly. Stick, stick. Where's my tool? If I just give him a bit of a nudge, 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 nudge. That'll help him keep his wings up. Alright. Did we re-make marks all over this? I think I did. <laughs> Cleaning it for the millionth time. Okay, glue on these bits. just going to apparently wipe glue all over it, turn it upside down, glue all over it, what a mess, scratch scratch, right. upside down and just press that against the plastic. And look at the mess. Look at the mess. Glue everywhere. Might have to take a little wet wipe to it. Alright, let's pretend it's not there for the minute. I'll scratch it off in a sec. So I'll just scratch it off now. Scratch, scratch. Alright. 
All right, next. I guess we put the glue again on the top now. And gently place the frame. Alright, well I know for next time to use maybe a little less glue on the plastic layer. It's seeped in on the inside, but hopefully when that dries it won't be noticeable. And clean off all that. But, I'm not unhappy with that. Where's that little collection thing? There it is. I'll put that on there. Uh, ink, ink, ink. I quite like that. Alright then, well, uh, hope you have fun playing with the Digi and thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.